Surprisingly, big news about technology has now overshadowed the war between Israel and Hamas. Israel and its partners are showing off their brand new, highly advanced fighter jets. At the same time, Elon Musk's SpaceX is in the news for a completely different reason, launching a UFO and criticizing the US government. People all over the world are interested in this new UFO, which has led to questions about its technology and how it might affect the war. What's so special about this UFO? How would its presence change the war between Israel and Hamas? Come with us as we show you what Elon Musk's UFO fighter jet can do that defies physics. With three important rockets, Elon Musk has led SpaceX to great technological advances in space. SpaceX's first rocket, the Falcon 1, was a big deal because it was the first privately funded rocket using liquid fuel to get into space. It was taken out of service in 2009 after only five launches, but its success set the stage for SpaceX's future. The Falcon 9 launch, which can send up to 22,800 kilograms into orbit, is now an important part of space exploration. When it was first launched in 2010, it was updated with the Falcon 9 Block 5 in 2018. A big new feature of the Falcon 9 is that its first stage can be used more than once. It can land, be retrieved, and be used again. It was made by SpaceX. The Falcon Heavy is a strong rocket that can send up to 63,800 kg into low Earth orbit or 26,700 kg into a higher orbit. Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster was sent into space on its first trip in 2018, which made the rocket famous for its impressive abilities. SpaceX is working on Starship, a launch system that can be used over and over again. It has two stages, the Super Heavy first stage and the Starship second stage. It is meant to be more advanced than current rockets so that it can go to the Moon, Mars, and other places. SpaceX also makes different kinds of rocket engines like the Merlin, Kestrel, and Raptor. The Raptor engine, which runs on methane and liquid oxygen, is a key part of the Starship system. The new Dragon 2 model of SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft, which takes people and goods to the International Space Station, is also a step forward. The first crewed trip of this updated spacecraft was in 2020, and it helped keep people on the ISS. Besides the Falcon, Elon Musk has also made something truly amazing. Elon Musk's brave actions have caused a real UFO to be made, called the Exxon. The US government is closely watching this project. This amazing craft, which was made by years of hard work and teamwork at Space and Exe, can hit a hypersonic speed of 4,600 miles per hour and uses a very small amount of fuel. Musk's move into advanced space technology makes us think about how new ideas affect politics and wars around the world. The X-1 is one of a kind because it has cutting-edge camouflage technology that makes it almost unnoticeable as it floats through the sky as a cloud. The Pentagon's confusion, originally thinking it was a UFO and then sending fighter jets after it, adds another layer of suspense to this cosmic story. Elon Musk's desire for privacy during the creation of the X-1 caused chaos in the Hamas camp putting the militants at odds with the visionary businessman. The X-1 is unique because it is the only plane with a small space shuttle engine. These engines have only been seen on SpaceX's Hawk hypersonic weapon before. At 600 mph, this missile can reach an amazing speed of over 4,000 mph, which is faster than any contemporary missile defense system. Now, this engine powers the new x which also has a better design that makes it 30% more fuel efficient. Beyond what is possible with standard military technology, the spacecraft has cut its fuel use by 30%. It also uses radio technology that looks like something from a science fiction movie. This technology can melt enemy planes or mess up their electronics. This might change the way wars are fought today. This system can be used in another interesting way. That's because 83% of the radiation that is directed at a person is absorbed by the top layer of skin, making it feel like you're being dipped in molten metal. Anyone would want to leave the area right away, leaving their tank or other equipment behind, which would then be easy to take. This is something that the US military could use to change the game. The Pentagon and Elon Musk disagree about the technology right now, though. The conflict between them makes things even more interesting. Musk thinks it could be used as a strategic weapon, but the military is still being cautious. This has led to a complex debate about the role of such powerful technology in modern war. Even though the military and Musk are at odds, the X-1's stealth technology, which keeps radars from finding it, keeps surprising people. It can go as high as 105,000 feet, which is even higher than the famous SR-71 Blackbird. 
This mix of speed, being invisible, and high altitude could change how air defense systems work and how people move through space. But the X-1 isn't completely safe. Neither is any other plane ever made. We need supersonic weapons to fight this high-flying craft. This is where the F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptors cutting-edge technology come in handy. Even though they are strong, the F-35 and F-22 can't keep up with the X-Zone, which can go 4,600 MP each, while the F-35 can only go 1,200 MP. The X-1 would have already reached and destroyed its target while the F-35 was still on its way. And get back to base without having to refuel. The developers said they were going to make a fighter for the 21th century that could fight all the new risks. The AM-120 hypersonic missiles on the F-35 and F-22 are very powerful weapons. They can go up to 3,100 MP Mach 4 and move at that speed. These missiles, on the other hand, can only keep going fast for about 30 minutes. This makes the fight very intense and dangerous. The weapons on the X-Zone, on the other hand, are different. It will use a very strange tool to kill its targets. A microwave device is a piece of equipment that sends out electromagnetic waves in the millimeter wave range. When these waves hit something, they had the same effect as a laser, but over a much larger area. When used at full power, microwave radiation can melt an enemy plane. However, this method is mostly used to disable all electronics and turn a fighter jet into a flying pile of metal scrap. The plane's job was to be half of what the Air Force calls the high-low mix. To me, one thing that makes the X-1 stand out is that it can hit amazing heights. The X-1 can fly up to 105,000 feet thanks to an engine that is usually found in space rockets. It also has one of the best microwave systems, which can mess up people and things. The jet also has a high-tech disguise that makes it almost impossible for radar to see. Skilled pilots play a very important part in the story of how technology has made things better, like how clouds blend into the sky. Fighter jets are more than just machines. They are flown by professionals who are smarter than any SpaceX pilot flying the X-Zone. The aerial battle is more difficult and exciting because it uses both high-tech tools and human skill. When climate is taken into account, things change. The X-1 stands out because it can go to amazing heights. The X-1 can fly up to 105,000 feet thanks to an engine that is usually found in space rockets. It is much easier to get to very high altitudes than the F-22 Raptor, which can only reach 72,000 feet and isn't as good at higher levels. Adding the X-1's microwave weapon raises the stakes even more, but the F-22 can make some amazing moves. Could help it stay safe when things get dangerous. Before, the only American plane that could reach those heights was the SR-71 Blackbird. But it couldn't attack, so it had to fly very high and quickly to avoid being caught. It was hard to track because of the dark color and tricks it used to avoid sensors. Even when rockets were aimed at it, it was often able to run faster or avoid them. Aside from that height, air defense systems can't hurt the X-Zone, which gives it a lead over the Blackbird. Attack planes that can get close enough to fire a supersonic rocket are the only way to destroy it. The US has these kinds of planes, the F-35 Lightning II and the F-22 Raptor, and both are very strong enemies. SpaceX does more than just explore space. It has also started projects like Starlink, a satellite network that aims to make internet access cheap for everyone around the world. By December 2022, more than 1 million people had signed up for Starlink. Some scientists are worried about light pollution, but Elon Musk also does good things for other people. SpaceX built a small submarine in 2018 to help get kids out of a flooded cave in Thailand. During the COV ID-19 pandemic in 2020, the company worked with others to test antibodies to fight the virus. This showed that it cared about more than just space research. Different things were done when the war between Israel and Hamas started in October 2023. At least 44 countries have called Hamas a terrorist group and some Middle Eastern countries have called for calm down by pointing to Israel's long-term control of Palestinian lands. During the war, there were also fights between Israeli troops and militants in Lebanon, such as Hezbollah. The US military has showcased its impressive technology, with Lockheed Martin leading the way in aircraft innovation, the F-35 Lightning II and the... Lockheed Martin made the stealthy F-117 Nighthawk, which is a famous plane in the history of flight. The 2,000 miles per hour SR-71 Blackbird, which is known for going very fast, pushed the limits of aerodynamics and showed that modern aerospace technology could handle even harsh conditions like 750 degrees Fahrenheit in the air. 
The Sur-72, which is meant to break speed records and master aerodynamics, is now the center of attention. Its engine is a mix of traditional turbojets and more advanced ramjet technology, which improves performance throughout the trip. Engineers paid close attention to both how the SR-72 looks and what it can do when they designed it. The engine of the plane turns fuel into strong thrust, which makes the SR-72 truly unique. Amazingly, the SR-72 can go faster than Mach 10. This is not just a number. This is a huge step forward in technology that will take people to a world that was once only seen in science fiction. Before the Dark Star, the world was limited by geography. It is a huge step forward in aircraft technology that makes it possible to do things that were not possible before. In addition to its amazing speed, the SR-72's unmatched agility is what makes it stand out. This isn't just a nice-to-have feature, it's a basic survival trait. The cockpit becomes an extension of the pilot's mind, a way for quick choices to be sent to the aircraft's design so it can react. Here, art and science come together, and skilled pilots become directors of an agility orchestra, going against the odds and pushing the limits. The rule system built into the Dark Star is a big step forward in how modern war is fought. Traditional defenses are no longer useful because light-based weapons are so fast and accurate. The system creates a powerful laser beam that is precisely aimed at targets, eliminating threats with a level of effectiveness that has never been seen before. The Dark Star is an airborne assassin that glides smoothly over enemy bases and kills key targets with pinpoint accuracy. Its speed, lethal lasers, and ability to turn are unmatched. But the question that keeps coming up stays. Is there any way that technology could get better? Of course. With the launch of the Next Generation Air Dominance Program by the U.S. Air Force in 2014, this progress has been made possible. With an estimated $16 billion investment, this program aims to bring about the era of sixth-generation weapons. It will be a stealthy addition to the U.S. military's arsenal. Response times are quick because the NGA D-Fighter can go as fast as 1,800 miles per hour, which is very fast and makes it easy to get into and out of enemy areas, making it a powerful weapon in aerial battle. With an amazing flight ceiling of 15 miles, this fighter can operate at heights that few enemies can effectively engage, giving it a strategic edge in the skies. The NGAD fighter is known for its stealth technology. Its advanced cover makes it almost impossible for radar to pick up, which is a big problem. This gives the fighter a big advantage in battle, because it makes them harder for the enemy to find and target. It also lets them work in secret and hit their targets accurately. The NGAD fighter really stands out because it has cutting-edge artificial intelligence built into it. The fighter has unmatched autonomy and decision-making power thanks to this AI system. It can handle a swarm of drones, which makes it more useful in battle and increases its versatility. This AI-driven feature makes coordinated and accurate drone operations possible, giving the fighter the ability to change and act quickly in changing battle situations. By using two different kinds of drones, this next-generation fighter shows a complete method to dominating the air. With their very accurate radars, the reconnaissance drones form a large monitoring net that can pick up on threats from a long way away. Once a fighter has found a target, he or she uses a second type of drone that is equipped with advanced weapons and can kill it very quickly in seconds. Adding AI would also help to make people more aware of their surroundings and increase their reach and effectiveness. With its speed, stealth, and ability to direct its own drone, the fighter is a very dangerous weapon on today's battlefields. The SR-72 and NGAD are two very advanced planes that could change the future of aviation by making reconnaissance, strike operations, and air warfare very different. If these projects succeed, the U.S. might become even more dominant in the air, setting new standards for aviation around the world. It would also be a turning point in the history of air combat and information gathering with Dark Star and NGAD in the spotlight. The Tempest, a European masterpiece, comes out of hiding with mind-blowing technological progress and the power to rule the skies. With speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour, the Tempest is a very strong defender. It aims for a more traditional style by taking inspiration from planes like the F-35 and F-22. However, the Tempest stands out with its sheer power ability to turn any corner, and cutting-edge stealth gameplay. The European engineers made a hull that not only blocks radar bands, but also makes the plane almost impossible to find because it has an absorbent coating in a shape that cleverly bends radar waves. 
The Tempest is made to be modular, so it can easily switch between roles for different tasks. It also has parts that can be upgraded as needed over time. It uses cutting-edge technology from stealth features like delta wings and vertical stabilizers that point outward, and the power to fly without a person on board to swarming technology for controlling drones. Its standing as a fighter of the future is strengthened by AI deep learning and directed energy weapons. With its cooperative engagement feature, the Tempest can easily share information and texts with other planes, making it easier to work together. It has a virtual cabin that is shown on a Striker 2 unit that is attached to the pilot's helmet and an adaptive cycle engine made of lightweight composite materials. Shows a dedication to cutting-edge technology without sacrificing cost-effectiveness. Leonardo, who was very important to this project, suggests a radar warning device that is four times more accurate than the ones we have now, but only 110 the size. The raised back fuselage section, S-shaped ducting behind the twin engine inlets, and deep placement of the engines inside the fuselage all help to reduce the plane's radar and infrared signatures. In addition to its technical specs, the Tempest has some unique features such as a pilot's helmet that tracks brain signals and other medical data, making a library of biometric and psychometric information that is unique to each pilot. The planes and I work with this database to help the pilot in many cases, like taking over flight controls during a blackout due to G-forces, or adding more work when things are very stressful. That being said, the Tempest can do more than that. Along with that, it has four hypersonic engines that give the missiles the speed and maneuverability to avoid anti-aircraft weapons at two meters per minute. These rockets gracefully avoid being intercepted, and they can even avoid laser weapons. In the days before the fighting between Israel and Hamas got worse, Iran showed off its Fatah hypersonic weapon. Fatah, which was created by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, represents Iran's unwavering drive to improve its military. This unveiling is a big step forward in Iran's defense capabilities. It has caught the attention of people around the world for its reported high maneuverability, incredible speed, and ability to beat known missile defense systems. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Iran's supreme leader, chose the name Fatah, which means conqueror or bringer of victory. The FAATA missile is a two-stage solid-fueled weapon with an impressive range of 1,500 kilometers and a top speed between Mach 13 and Mach 15. This gives the scientific achievement added symbolic weight. Its unique spherical engine warhead, which is driven by solid fuel and has a movable nozzle, makes it faster and easier to move precisely in different directions. The fact that uses solid fuel for movement makes it work. During a visit by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei to the IRGC AF Museum in Tehran on November 19, Iran showed off its Feta-2 hypersonic missile in a variety of weather conditions. According to news sources, the Fatah 2 has a ballistic missile engine that is similar to the one used in the first Fatah missile, which was shown off in June. Its re-entry vehicle looks a lot like Boeing's experimental hypersonic rocket, the X-51 Wave Reader, but it doesn't have a place for a rocket engine to get air. Iran showed off this advanced hypersonic ballistic missile, which is more powerful than most ballistic weapons and can travel faster than sound. Its fast speed not only increases its range, but it also makes it much harder for potential targets and enemies to respond. This makes it a powerful tool in Iran's arsenal to restore global and geopolitical peace, which is what the US Dark Star NGAD is working on together. The Tempest and X-1 teams from Europe are very important. The goal of this cooperation is to make weapons that work well against possible threats, but it also worries groups like Hamas and Iran. The use of such advanced technologies adds a new dimension to global conflicts. Depending on how these powerful weapons are used, they could either lower tensions or raise worries. Thanks for seeing. Click on the link that shows up on your screen to watch one of our other videos. Enjoy your stay here. See you then.